Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to create an advanced startup option that allows you to get into troubleshooting, reset your computer, etc. For techs, though, they might want to just have a simple little shortcut that they keep on their thumb drive just to speed things up. Now, you can actually type right in here. You can start typing advanced, just to let you know. Start typing advanced startup options in search. And you can see change advanced startup options. That brings you to settings. Start settings. Update and security. Recovery. And as soon as you click that button, your computer will restart. Easy enough to do, right? So let's do it with a shortcut by highlighting this code right here or copy it. Notice that it's shutdown.exe space space after each one. That's an O and that is a zero. So let's right click on our desktop and let's do new shortcut. Press control V to paste that code in or type away if you like and hit next. When you get to next, you get to name it. You can do anything you want. I'm going to do advanced startup and we're going to click finish. And there you have it. Now, make sure everything's closed. For example, this page, which is linked to in the video description and with a little eye up here if you want to jump over and copy this code. All right, let's double click it. And as I promised, it's going to reboot right away on you. And when it does, it's going to bring you up into the advanced startup options. If you haven't seen it before, you can get to the command prompt. You can fix your startup. There's a lot of stuff you can do in here. Reset your PC, as we mentioned. Restore from an image. Pretty much anything when you're in trouble. So as you can see, you can continue and exit to Windows 10 real quick. Most frequently used unless you have a DVD or thumb drive with repair tools on it. You can go to troubleshoot, reset. Go to Advanced, Startup Repair, Uninstall Updates, UEFI Firmware Settings, Startup Settings, Command Prompt, and System Restore. Click your arrow keys back, and you can get back to the front page, and you can continue and exit to Windows 10. So, once we're here, you know it's a shortcut. That means we can drag it anywhere you can bring a shortcut. For example, the taskbar would be one place, and stuff like that. So. Let me show you real quick too, because you might want to change the icon. Give me a second here. So we can change the icon by right clicking on the shortcut that we created. Let me show you. 